Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will see about uh, mathematical equations and how to create some math environments. So let's start with that. If you want to write uh, uh, some any equation, let's say like this. F of x equals to a plus b. Just run this. You can see we got the output though it was a mathematical term uh, we just like a normal text we gave it and the output was came if uh, the same with if you try with this we got this also but if you want to write equation now like f of x equals to x square plus bx plus c let's try to run this see we got the error because it can as it is a mathematical thing uh, though there are no big mathematical terms here like square or something plus we will generally use plus in text also somewhere sometimes so it can understand as a text and the it was printed but whereas uh, like square fractions summation many other math terms cannot be directly printed as text so we need to use the symbol dollar before and after that mathematical term then the output will be come see we got the output next we will see about uh, inline equation inline actually uh, equations can be displayed in inline or uh, I mean in the mathematical terms can be displayed in inline or in display style according to the requirement let's see first inline then you will be clear with what is inline and display if you want to say the equation is if you want to say this see the equation is fx equals to 3x plus 4x plus c this is what in line the same thing the same thing can be achieved uh, with uh, use instead of dollar symbol you can get this also by using uh, another command let's see that also instead of dollar symbol you can use backslash open brace open bracket then again backslash close bar see the same thing there was no change the same thing we got with this and with this and we can also use uh, packages to achieve the same thing begin math can use the same thing uh, in math environment to get the same output to use this we need to use the package AMS math see we got this we got the same thing the equation is f of x equals to 3x square plus 4x plus 5 same thing we got next we will see uh, the display style the same thing can be written in display style using 
two dollar symbols instead of single dollar. See, we got the equation in this play style. The equation is f of x equals to 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now I think it was completely clear to you what is display style and inline style. The mat with uh, if the equation follows with the text in the same line, then it is inline. And the equation, any bigger equation or the equation which is important if we want to display at center mode, then that is what the display style. For that we use double dollar symbol, or the same thing can be achieved using closed bracket and. Uh, before and after with backslash whereas for inline we use a uh, normal bracket here we use square bracket let's see see we got the same thing let's zoom this see we got the same thing here also and similarly we can use the environment also like how we used here but the environment here is display math Just run this now. See, you got the same thing. The equation f of x is 3x square plus 4x plus 5. But there was a difference in the text style, right? We will see that. I will say why that was happened. Let's uh, first see about the next numbering style. Equation with numbers. Section numbering. We will see how equations will be numbered. If you use the uh, environment called equation, then what we will ha what will happen? You will see now. Let's say equation. remove this text let's only use the equation see what will happen see what happened we got the equation and it was numbered as 1 that's what the use of uh, using the environment called uh, equation so that the equations will be numbered when we want to uh, number any equation this environment will be helpful and the same thing uh, can be achieved using align also when we required alignment uh, Let's see what is that. If you want to uh, write any equation with alignment, if you consider this only, uh, let's consider this equation only. In the next line. you wrote uh, equals to call something I will say. see we didn't got uh, exactly equal to before that equal to so if in that case when we want to align the equations then we have to use the uh, environment called align so let's try with that now then you will understand better align is the environment let's use that begin align let's write here f of x equals to
3x square plus 4x plus 5 if if the answer of this is 12 then we need to say the next line equals to 12 this is what uh, use of align to make this equals to align you need to use the symbol ampersand before that then this will be aligned so let's try with this sorry see the equation was aligned now f of x equals to 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and the equal to was aligned in the next line and we got 12 so and these equations were also got numbered and if you want as uh, in this uh, article this equation got numbered 1 and if you want to uh, number that uh, this as uh, number 2 if you want to uh, stop this from numbering then you just use their comment no numbering no numbering yeah we got here sorry for the late yeah if you see now uh, by using the command no number you can stop that particular equation in that line from numbering and you can skip the numbering to the next equation see f of x equals the x where uh, this was numbered one and in the next equation part uh, this one was skipped by using this no number command and the, the this one was numbered as two next and if you want if you don't want the numbering then you can use a uh, completely if you want uh, no numbering to the entire set then you can use align star the same environment instead of align you will use align star let's run this now you will observe the difference see the same thing we got with align and align star this is with align and this is with align star environment whereas we have numbering here there, there is no numbering with align star that's the difference between align and align star and let's see uh, some another example with uh, align star that helps us in writing more small equations with alignment so let's try that let's say 2x minus 1 ampersand equals to 5 and you want to align again and in the next line Two x and a line equals to six, and then again a line four y equals a line the equals to eight. The next line x a line equals to three. Similarly, again aligning with the next one y is equal align equals to 2 let's see this now 
see we got the these equations 2x minus 1 equal to 5 and, uh, and it was giving x equal to 3 here it was giving y equals to 2 without using this align star environment and this um, alignment we cannot achieve this in this latex document so this kind when you want to write these kind of equations it will be very helpful for the alignment and if you and as you if you remembered i said in the uh, third tutorial maybe in the when we are discussing about organization of a document i said that numbering of equations and math terms will be uh, will be same in the uh, article whereas uh, in a report or book the numbering will be different for e every chapter let's uh, as this is article the numbering was 1 2 whereas if the report means let's see i will say report chapter 1 let's run this you can see this now the equations are numbered now as 1.1 1.2 where with that with the article we got the equations numbered 1 and 2 but whereas chapter it was 1.1 and 1.2 again when if we sh start a new chapter then the numbering will be uh, 2 point it will start with 2.1 so that is the difference between article and report where we